We are back today playing some Rise of Ronin because I'm probably one of the only goddamn 10 people on the planet playing it, unfortunately, because, uh, well, it chose to come out the same day as Dragon's Dogma 2. I have been playing Team Ninja games since Neo 1, so it's been quite a while now. Basically, every single game they've made, I've absolutely loved. I've been hearing a lot of people, like, not really complain, but almost, like, say it's just not one of their bests. And I bet it's still pretty good. Like, I guess that's how good in my head that Team Ninja is, that even one of their best, even one of their, that's not their best, is probably still pretty damn good. You know, it's it's similar to From Software, right? Like, would you say Dark Souls 2 is bad? Actually, don't answer that, because I know some of you goddamn haters. I know some of you hate Dark Souls 2, but... In general, Dark Souls 2 is probably, in my opinion, the worst of the Souls games, but still an amazing, great game compared to many, many games. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start off our new game. So we have actual difficulties for this one. Now, I have my own opinion on difficulties. I, I always feel like there should be just no difficulty and it's whatever the developer chooses and like that should be the the default difficulty i know how difficult that is in terms of like there's so many people who sometimes want to play a game and and don't have the ability to play like you know like there's probably a lot of people who have not been able to play neo and stuff like that because of like no difficulty and how difficult the game actually is so i understand why there's difficulties but in my head team ninja loves difficult games so i'm assuming twilight was their default and then they just kind of dwindled it down a little bit for everybody else. That's my thought process. So I'm going to play as Twilight because in my dumb head, I assume that's their uh, their default. So let's go ahead and play on Twilight. Is he bringing me my letter to Hogwarts? What's Japanese Hogwarts? Like Jujutsu Kaisen? My man didn't even put it up to his goddamn shoulder. Oh, they burned him. Oh, what if they forged the bodies to the katanas and then it makes a super powerful katana? That's what Neo would be. Uh oh. Run, kids! They were not kind to kids in this era. Ooh. Dude, she's a beast. She has a cane sword, by the way. Separately formidable, together unstoppable. What a humdrum lad! They are a couple humdrum lads, aren't they? You can either play as two females or two males, huh? So like uh, maybe like an older brother and then a younger brother, and then it's the same for female, older sister, younger sister. I'll play as a male. My elbow and knee angle. Yeah, that's the very first thing that I actually wanted to edit. Thank God. Just a, a little a little darker. There we go. Kind of match my skin tone. There we go. That's kind of my skin tone a little bit. I would say I'm maybe a little bit lighter because I don't go outside. But wait, undergarment type? What the fuck does that mean? How do I take off his clothes to see his undergarments? Pink underwear? That's good. Wait, what's this? Eye back puffiness. There we go. Max, max that bitch out. Oh, I do have a very distinct eyelid depth. Listen, I made my monster in Dragon's Dogma, okay? I want to make a, a good character. <laughs> no, we gotta- there we go. We gotta give him yellow teeth. They didn't have fucking toothpaste at this time. Sort of darker, not perfect teeth. There we go. Oh, shit! We can make him an elf! That's a hairstyle? I thought he was wearing a raccoon skin on his head. <laughs> Damn it. Honestly, seeing this hair kind of makes me want to, uh... It kind of makes me want to make a female character. Fuck. No, I'll stick with a, I'll stick with the male character. Mustache. I can change my mustache. Yay! Face paint? Wait, nail polish? Oh my... Oh, look at my underwear! You can see it! Oh, that's what I'm going to be wearing? Holy shit! <laughs> oh, yes, dude. And then I want a tattoo of a frog on my abs. His name's Frogland. All right, I like it. Finalized creation. Oh, now we have another one. Somebody gave me the good idea that I should make the next one look like my brother, which I kind of like that idea as well. So I'm gonna make this one very quickly look like my brother. He has to be older. <laughs> yeah, that old. <laughs> or a tattoo of a deer on his forehead. There you go. 
He has that in real life too. All right, I think that looks good. That's my brother. How do we even check our toes? For free? That's crazy. Is that a bonfire? Are you gonna go play Mortal Kombat? Oh, it's an old lady. Oh my God, we saw her whoop ass. We ain't gonna do shit. Let's go, you old bat. Oh my gosh, she's strong. Veiled twin, twin unit. You can switch controls between either veiled edge member at any time. Okay. L1 and then up, huh? That's cool. And then my, what is my dumbass character just stand in there? What up, Granny? I'm behind you. She's like, go easy on me, young man. Nah, she wouldn't want that. That's our teacher. She's taught me everything I know. What do you think first taught me how to eat walrus bones? Got her. That's cool. I like the fact that you can kind of switch between each character. That's a real interesting mechanic. Kind of a little bit tough to do in battle and stuff, but... Prod likes to punch old ladies. I tend to punch old women a lot in video games. Now you need to win the war with a wooden sword only? That's easy. It's not like they have guns or anything. You think I can get eaten by a shark? I'm going to find Titanic. Cool. Wait, aren't they just gonna see us instantly? They're right- Dog, they're right there! Oh well. A Japanese man is now on board! Oh, I have a real sword! I thought we were gonna have our wooden one! Oh my god, my stamina. I need- Wow, I need to watch my stamina. Oh, fuck me! I'll take on the leader. Cool. Check him. Check his rectum. I mean, I mean, check his uh, pocket. We got one. What? Dog, his body he fell through the ship. The ship ain't real. Oh my god, the ship's not real. It's a figment of my imagination. Yeah, it's all a simulation. I go, <gasps> and then I wake up. Wait, what the fuck? There's somebody over here. I have to like spam R1 to see if they have anything that I can loot before they fall through the ground. Deflecting enemies' gunfire and other such attacks will be. Oh my god. Oh, it's such a weapon on fire if you do it right. That's badass. Ooh, what up, bitch? Sick. I got his gun, too. Fuck it. Oh, well, that did no damage. Oh! Oh, shit, I found a hole. Hey, yo, that's my bad. My bad, brother. <laughs> Alright, there's one. Oh my god, they're just constantly falling down the hole. Are they fighting on the ladder? What are they doing? What the fuck is that? Boom! Did they say time to suffer? Oh, 
Oh shit, he cut his arm off. That was sick. This guy's over here suffering. How do we put him out of his misery? Thank God he was fixing that chest I'm about to steal. <laughs> Look at his head. Ah, oh, hey, yo. Dang, he throwing it back though. God damn. Hey, chill. <laughs> it's Napoleon. Oh my god, he's about to take both of us on? What a badass, dude. Oh, he's got a gat. Try that shell deflector right now. There you go. No way, he just dodged a bullet like a superhero. Alright, enemy martial skills. To avoid martial skills of enemies developed by a murderous red aura, you'll have to rely on perfectly timed counter spark. Okay. So, like that. Oh, not like that, though. Oh my god, I thought that was gonna stop him. Oh my lord, dude. Oh, I thought I could shoot him from that angle. Just throw all this shit at him. There we go. I think I jumped over that. Uh oh. Take that explosive barrel, you bitch. Ooh, those deflex are hard to time sometimes. Yo, is he gonna hit? Or does he only hit when I fucking play as him? There we go. Don't hit, hit the other barrel. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Matthew Perry. <laughs> oh. There we go. What in the world? Okay. The blue demon. We're fucked. And I'm dead. Oh my god. Well, we got fucking annihilated by the blue demon. Combat is a little bit difficult. It's it's kind of odd because they want you to do all these parries and deflex, but there's so many combo moves and like time hard to time attacks and Lemon take the secret message. Lemon take this. Wait, what? Oh yeah, I see. Are you sure you want to be cho this chosen to be your protagonist? Yes. I'll choose me as this is where I get to choose who. Oh my brother! This is what he would do to be honest. No! How's he gonna do combos in Mortal Kombat now? Do I recognize the voice? I think so. That's Owl, right? Dude, that's fucking Owl. Sick, he sounds badass.
information added about my brother. Oh, what? What happened here? Oh, shit. Wow. Fuck, I thought he was going to do attack. So those are attacks I can only deflect, huh? This time, that one. <clears throat> oh no, I didn't deflect because I was on top of the stupid ass rock. Shake off blood stains and replenish key based on the blood stain amount. I'm dead. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck that one up. Oh, I'm dead. No, I just. <laughs> I dodged fucking backwards, and then the knife caught up to me. There's a third in here? Oh my gosh, another one, I think. There's a fucking dog! Doggy! Pss, 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 pss. Well, at least you can't chop his head off. I lost all my heals. Oh, wow, I could have gone around. Look at that. If I would have gone left, I probably would have been able to crouch and sneak my way around behind one of them. So at least now you know, right? Like, there's multiple ways to do stuff if you want to do stuff more stealthily. These attacks are hard to gauge. Oh, I'm fucking dead, dude. Oh! Get to 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 get Ouchie, my stomach is open. Oh, there is a crow, Sensei. Oh, dude, that's so sick. I love how it looks. Ow. <laughs> Let's go, bitch. Oh. No, I wanted to grab the item. Dang it. Tony Kizuitil Hangonuke Katawari Osangas Tsumuritana. It's a big deal. What is your book still was let up? Uh oh. Oh shit, that's just gonna cut her arm off. Oh no, we're fighting our old lady.
All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I tried dodging after that. Wow, it's hard sometimes to gauge. If they do a spin attack, it makes deflecting really hard. This isn't even a katana. This is a saber. You've gone senile. Damn it. Deflecting that was hard. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe I can't deflect that one? Got the old bag! I'm sorry, Sensei! Oh my god! No! Did I cut your, your jugular by accident? R.I.P. So they all have this blade twin, kind of like their brothers. You know how they say in real life, like twins can like almost telepathically communicate? Maybe it's like that. Oh no, the dogs are gonna eat her. Can we at least kill her before the dogs fucking eat her alive? She's like, wait, finish me off, I don't want to freeze. She lived for another four hours. Die your own death. Awesome. That was a cool opening. And now we're on to the open world. Uh oh. You good, dog? How about a 100% discount? Give me all you got. Wait, I can collect the rabbit? I just took them. Oh my, I took them and then once fell swoop skinned them as I was picking him up. You know how crazy that is? I'm probably gonna get seen anyway, so might as well just end it like this and then I'll get seen. <laughs> Holy fuck, did I pop his head? Damn 
They're actually on the ground for quite a bit. Uh oh. How good is blocking in this game? I haven't really even tried it. Probably should have deflected that one. That's such weird timing. Karma. Defeating enemies earns karma. That's good. Yo, I'm looking fancy. I'm looking good. Can I walk around naked? <laughs> yes, I can, baby. Let's go. I'm about to walk into back into the village like this, by the way. I'm embarrassed. I go, oh, I forgot my clothes. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'll never do it again. They go, who's that naked man on a horse? It's me, your savior. 